This is Locarno Beach, Vancouver. And it's Chris Turner from the Ring Finders. How you doing? It's uh, just gone 8 o'clock in the morning, 8, 8.30. And I had a ring search out here today, just out there. And I found the ring out right about where the water's breaking there. In about probably waist deep of water. Tide has gone out now since I've got my, uh, my stuff together to show you. I didn't come here expecting a, uh, a daytime search. I came here thinking low tide was at uh, 2 in the morning. So I got here at 10.30 last night to search for this young lady's ring. And the tide wasn't going out. I was going like chest deep thinking what's going on. And it was just, I couldn't get anywhere close to the dock. So I went back to my car. I checked my phone and it was set for La Jolla, California. So I had the wrong tide uh, table. And that's because when I, uh, well, yesterday I broke my phone, cr crunched it. So I went and got a replacement and I um, re rebooted it onto my computer. It didn't download the right uh, tide tool. So here I am at 1030 at night waiting to do a search and the tide wasn't going out. So I went back to my car at two in the morning and uh, found out I was in the wrong location. Low tide was actually 10 o'clock this morning. So I slept in my car until 5.30, came out, started working the low tide as it was going out and probably waist deep of water. And I found it about 15 minutes ago. It's just past 8.30 now. Uh, really excited to tell this young lady that I have it because she told me what it meant to her and we're gonna have a look at it and some of the other stuff I found there it is right there check that out isn't that gorgeous it's a native carved ring and there's some of the other stuff I found prescription glasses out in the water somebody's cell phone out in the water and probably over twenty dollars in change most of the change came from the dry sand out here because when I was waiting for the tide to go out, I just thought, well, I'll kick around the logs. And uh, I also found a ring, but that's in the car in a pendant, but both of them were garbage. They weren't really precious metal. Really happy to find this. Really excited uh, to get it back. Yeah. And uh, give her back the ring and hear a little bit about the story because she was pretty emotional yesterday when she was describing uh, the ring to me and what it meant to her. So we'll hear it from her. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this one isn't as interesting, uh, no build up, but again, I wasn't expecting to do a, a video search last night because the low tide in my mind was gonna be 2 a.m. and I was wrong. So I'm gonna go drop this off. I'll talk to you later. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened that day when you lost your ring? Uh, I was swimming with my daughter and my best friend and we jumped off the wharf and I was standing there talking to them and I just, I felt it just fall, slide off my finger. Do you think you'd ever see it again? No, well I tried, I tried for a few hours to You find tried it. for a few hours diving around looking for yeah, it? Yeah, it was a pretty hopeless cause and everybody told me it was a hopeless cause so uh, somebody gave me your flyer. Was it the lifeguard? Yes. It was a lifeguard. And um, was, what was your thoughts when you got it? You thought, would, could it happen when you met me? Did you think it would happen? Uh, once I met you, I thought, it, I thought you seemed pretty confident. Okay. But before that, I was pretty, I just thought, you know what, it's, it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah. But then after I met you, I was pretty confident. And I went home and slept good that night. Well, it's a beautiful ring. Thank you. It took a couple hours after the tide was low. There you go. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And the story continues. It does. Awesome. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I thank you so much. You're That's so welcome. welcome. It's Unfortunately, not everybody wants to be in camera for one reason or another, and you got to respect that, and I do. And she was nice enough to uh, do a little voiceover with me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Take care. Until the next one. Bye-bye.